In this episode, I'm gonna go through my new techniques with nutrition and dieting, and then also how to stop fluffing around in the gym, wasting time on all different exercises when you should just be utilizing a couple. So we just finished our back and leg session. We are what, 12 weeks out? Yeah, 12 weeks out. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm pumped up. I'm keen to get shredded. I'm all right. I'm not keen for dropping calories heaps, so. though. Yeah. It's been rough for me. My metabolic <laughs> rate has been good. Oh, well. Get through it. Get some content now. Worth it for the, for the shreds. <laughs> for the Instagram <laughs> likes, bro. That's what it's all about. The likes. That's what life is all about. <laughs> That is to me. All right, guys, so jumping right into this video, I would like to firstly touch on a couple of things that I'm trialing out and also updating you on another thing. The first thing I'm updating you on will be my outdoor training that I applied for through the council is finally in motion. So that's pretty exciting. So that hopefully will be starting up as of next month, so February, if this week I can get it done, I can start organizing some advertising for it, some new equipment for outdoor training, all that kind of stuff, and hopefully around mid next month will be fully functional. Another two things I'm trying, it's kind of like both under the same block, but I'm doing Google ads now, and also a Facebook ad that has been strategically planned a little bit better than what I have before. In the past, I've been hesitant about doing like Facebook ads, Google AdWords. Google ads was one thing that kind of like confused me a little bit, and it just took me a little bit of going into it today to really start to get my head around it. My Google ads is for my YouTube video, my most recent one, so the one before this one that you're watching now. And then my Facebook ad is for my Instagram page, which will be running as a story to certain demographics that I choose. So we'll see how that goes and I'll keep you in the loop about that. Thousand calories in one shake. So guys, super productive day today, and here's why. Over time, I've delved into the term intermittent fasting every now and then. I did it usually, I did it before in my old cut, went for about two weeks, but found I was getting too hungry at the time. This morning, I've tried it again, and it's worked an absolute gem. I was super productive in the morning. I got up, I had my clients, I also then went and did my 10 laps down at the pool. I came back, went to office work, grabbed some office supplies that I needed to get. I went and did my weights for an hour and then I did 30 minutes of steady state cardio. Another thing I noticed is usually I'm consuming a shitload of caffeine during the day to try and keep going. And today it just didn't seem like I had to do that. I didn't even take pre-workout before I worked out. What I put this down to is obviously because my food isn't in my stomach processing as well as the caffeine, my caffeine intake that I had in the morning is able to supply me throughout the whole day. I also think this comes down to energy levels that aren't being supplied to the body to break down food is also the reason behind my motivation or productivity because the energy isn't going to that it's able to go to the activities that I'm carrying out yesterday as you saw I trained legs with Riley and also trained back it was a little bit out of my program I was supposed to train legs today so I also trained hamstrings today and then also as I said did my steady state cardio some other things I touched on before is I had started running those Google adverts and also Facebook adverts. The Facebook one is providing to be pretty good. The, the reach is huge for the amount that you pay for it. And the Google one, I'm still trying to work out a little bit. Business is finally starting to grow again and it is so exciting, guys. Another few little nitty gritty things that I had to do today was get a hard drive to start putting these videos on so it's not taking up room on my computer. That was getting a little frustrating. It said the disc was full already, just like a shitload of videos that I have on there. There was also a couple of just legality forms in terms of waivers, payments, all that kind of stuff that I need to sort out for the business that I'd been 
putting off and I've kind of like waived it and I think if I get too far into the business before sorting that thing, it could become a snowball effect. This week, I'll hopefully get a podcast done with Joey from Strong 24-7. Obviously get my YouTube done, want to start getting into guitar again, try and find some time to do that. And then also, finally, I'm looking for a male and a female participant to do my online coaching. I'm looking for two free participants to take on. About probably, I'm looking at eight weeks of training to see what results they can get for testimonials, etc. And the information for that is usually going to be on my Instagram. So if you want to jump over there, I'll explain it there also intermittent fasting and yesterday seemed super good but today it's proven to be a little bit harder so I'm not taking the lift today I'm gonna take the stairs and I don't know I think one of the keys is to like kind of like stay out of the house places where there's food around and that will keep you distracted from it so as well as intermittent fasting I'm going to try a different method of training today, where is doing less, enough of like going around the gym, trying to do as many exercises as I can. I'm going to just do a couple of key exercises for the body parts, which is shoulders and chest, and try and go really heavy at the start, maximize the volume applied to the muscle group, but at the same time, not be jumping around doing all these unnecessary little exercises. So mainly compound lifts and stuff like that. I'm walking to the gym again today, try and get my steps up. Didn't go out much this morning trying to get these free online coaching clients sorted so then I can start getting testimonials in. Yeah, start actually developing my online side of the business. The training program that I'm just about to complete is going to be only two shoulder exercises, two chest exercises, one being overhead shoulder press, military press with a barbell, and then also lateral raises. The chest exercises are going to be a heavier dumbbell bench press, and then also dumbbell chest flies. The first exercise of each body part is going to be eight reps, five sets, and the following is only going to be four sets, 10 reps though. My theory behind this new training technique is that I'm going to be training each body part twice a day. So for example, I will be doing flat bench press today and then incline the other day. And for shoulders, they will be either a military press today and then dumbbells seated press the following day. The aim here is to obviously apply stress to the muscle group so that it creates tears and then they repair. And if your diet is on point, then they should be repairing bigger and better. If you are able to do that, through main exercises rather than all these little stupid unnecessary isolation exercises then why are we spending hours in the gym trying to get all these exercises done when we can apply the stress just through some basic ones. I'm going to go through a quick warm up and then get into this workout.
million ways to die. Choose one. So just finish up the workout guys, it ended up taking 56 minutes anyway just because of recovery time for some of those really heavy lifts at the start. Like I, I was playing around with the 50 kilo dumbbells that I haven't touched during this cut yet and they definitely took it out of me, especially after that heavy uh, standing military press. Total kilojoules burnt during that session, just over 1700. Divide that by four, you get your calories in. My average heart rate was 98, so that's pretty high. Like. I felt like I was working, I got a sweat up, and I only did four exercises, five sets for the big one, so my flat dumbbell bench and my standing military press, five sets, eight reps, and then the other two smaller exercises were four sets, 10 reps, so give that a go guys, it, I still got a mad workout from it, but you really have to work on, make sure you push yourself in those big ones, make sure you lift the weight, go to almost failure and that's what's going to help those muscles grow. But anyway guys, I've finally made it to, well it's 10 past 12 now, so I'm gonna go and have my first meal of the day. I'm going to cook up some egg whites and eggs, some English muffins, and really start smashing some food because I am starving. What's going on guys? Just wanted to check in and show you what I just got brought uh, by a a girl that I did a complimentary session for the other day and she owns a business called The Occasional Box. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. I'll open it up in a sec, but what she did for me, like obviously she's got all these like donuts and stuff like that, but I mentioned to her that I'm in prep and I need to know what I'm eating and what she's done has gone to the effort of actually writing out the macros for everything that's in the box. How good is that? Do I have a look in here now? Little bits and pieces. Before you devour, please be advised the kitchen looks most good. Oh, so it's got nuts and stuff in it, as usual. This is just a little thing to say how they can win a, you can win a free box. And then, that is so awesome. Little thank you note on top. Thank you, Ash, you're a legend. And let's see what's under there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Look how good that is, guys. Thank you so much to the occasional box. I'll put a link to their Instagram, etc., in my bio. So new dinner tonight, finished up 8 o'clock Friday night, late, uh, with a client finishing at 8 o'clock. So what I did then was go and got a new plate, new dinner plate, because I was finding it hard to fit all my new fasting meals on there. So tonight, my recommendation, or recommendation, my 
new meal that I'm going to be having tomorrow night is spud bite potatoes. So they're 25% less carbs than normal potatoes. And then chicken tenderloin is cooked, cooked with fajita spices and no oil. So it keeps like any hidden calories out. You just know it's spice, chicken, and I reckon it's awesome anyway. So that's going to be, I had that for, had that for dinner and now I've got that for a meal prep uh, for tomorrow as well. Another little bit of a change today is that I didn't do my swimming or my steady state cardio because I have my aquathon tomorrow on Australia Day and I want to try and save my energy as much as I can for that because I think the run is going to be pretty taxing on me. So we'll see how we go in that. I'll keep you updated. I'll probably film following the uh, aquathon next. Just to wrap up this video, I'd like to touch on my experience in the aquathon. Yes, it was hard, especially the run, and it was so hot. I think it got up to like nearly 30. I'm gonna lie if I say a temperature because I actually don't know, but it was super hot. The goal was to not stop, and that's what I did. So didn't stop in the run, didn't stop in the swim. The swim was actually pretty good because it was like a consistent swim rather than turning around and doing laps in the pool like I was doing. And this week, hopefully get the outdoor area of the training sorted because council didn't get back to me by the end of the week so i might have to follow them up and see what the goal is with that but thanks for watching the movie guys if you get any if you got anything out of it make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and yeah hope you all enjoyed and there's more to come next week